Chris 6 weather forecast. All right, and we've continued to have very warm temperatures across the coastal bend. We started off the week on the uh, cool side, and as we uh, end out the week, we're starting uh, to see those warm temperatures above normal, and I think a whole lot of spring breakers and a whole lot of us here in South Texas are not really complaining. We topped off at 84 yesterday, and again, the uh, average high for this time of year into the upper 70s, but one thing we haven't seen a whole lot of is that rainfall still zero yesterday, despite a few sprinkles out near the uh, coastal regions uh, into the uh, early afternoon yesterday, but still nothing in the bucket and we're getting closer to that one inch below normal for this time of year. Lots of fog out there this morning ahead of our uh, weak Pacific cold front that'll be moving through the region right about eight to nine o'clock in the morning. We'll get all this fog out of here, but we're still holding on to it. 67 degrees and a light northerly wind at only three miles per hour, but we have lots of 60s across the map. Still some 70s over in Ingleside out at the Naval Air Station, 66 in Aransas Pass, 66 over in Premont and even out around Three Rivers and George West. We're holding on to about 64. So again, the fog is pretty widespread across the coastal bend. So use caution on that early morning commute. Again, it's going to take a little bit of some time uh, to get this fog out of here. But notice as we head towards about 8 to 9 o'clock, we pick up that northerly flow around 15 to 25. Those winds are going to be gusty. Once we start to get those gusty winds, dry air is going to follow and we're going to have very high fire danger across the coastal bend. And obviously we're still going to see plenty of sunshine out there as temperatures top off in the lower 80s. But notice as we progress throughout the rest of the afternoon, the winds will begin to relax some. So that's certainly some good news. Despite the frontal boundary coming in, we're still going to see afternoon high temperatures into the 70s and 80s across much of South Texas. So you can see the wind here at about midday today, very strong, uh, sustained pretty close to about 30 miles per hour, gust around 40 to 45, and then by 6 o'clock this evening, those will begin to come down. However, a red flag warning is in effect for the entire coastal bend from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Outdoor burning is highly discouraged with the strong wind, dry vegetation, and dry air. That's going to lead to very high fire danger across the coastal bend. So again, keep that in mind. The bays will be choppy to rough with that extra wind. Seas 5 to 9 feet. Small craft advisories are posted from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. So boaters, mariners, spring breakers use caution. Uh, Bob Hall Pier, Port Aransas Jetty High Tide later on this afternoon. Oasis Bay and Packery Channel later this morning. And then later on this evening at about 9 to 10 o'clock as well. So there's the front. We'll continue to march towards South Texas. And again, the cooler air lagging behind it. This secondary boundary not going to arrive until later on this evening, so the cool air is not going to get here until uh, over the weekend, but plenty cold up to the north, and that's where they have temperatures into the uh, 20s and 30s, so as we put everything together on the seven-day forecast, we go to 81 today, pretty windy out there, 51 and 77 on Saturday, 52, 77 on Sunday, the first day of spring, so cooler there, not bad, high fire danger again early next week, starting off warm, and another front Tuesday causes isolated showers and cooler temperatures Wednesday and Thursday. See